Welcome to Land of House, I'm Seth. So it finally happened. I became a man and my voice changed. Now, I've been sick for the past five days and uh, have not really been able to film any videos. Um, so this is about all you're gonna get for the vlog. Um, it hurts to talk, so I'm not saying much. I thought um, it'd be fun to come down to the creek and see how the stainless steel valve is working with the pump. It um, has been running pretty much non-stop for five months and um, I think that's going to be a sufficient test to see how well that valve is going to work. So let's go ahead and turn this off here. The pump stopped about a week and a half ago. I think the intake got filled up. But I just wanted to pull this off of here and see how it worked. Um, let's see. At about five months of uh, operation. So, let's see if I can get that to focus for you. There we go. Yeah, I'm seeing very little, uh, what I would call pitting on that uh, valve in there. There's a slight discoloration, as you can see, but it is really held up well. I'm super impressed with that. So, um, yeah, looking good. So between you and me, um, I have a shipment of about 800 of these that are uh, on the way to my storage facility. So I will be replacing, or um, yeah, replacing the brass valves with the stainless steel in all upcoming Land House ramp pumps. And this is a significant improvement in uh, longevity of the pump. So definitely pleased with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this valve and we can walk up the creek and see what stopped the uh, pump from operating over the past week and a half here. This time of year, uh, things dry up a whole lot in the creek. This has been running all summer long and it has stopped now. Um, so you can see the flume is still pulling several gallons a minute um, and then over here, has just about stopped. So we may have just uh, pulled in too much air at one time for that pump to go. But as you can see, the majority of the creek heads straight down the flume here. What's left of it. I've only seen this thing uh, one time dry up to almost quitting. That was a couple years ago. But I have a feeling the uh, intake is what's caused the pump to stop here. <clears throat> That's not looking too bad, but it probably was enough to, uh, to stop the pump. And all these leaves here, definitely an issue. <clears throat> definitely a bit of uh, sand and silt building up in that thing. We may clean it out later. Yeah, not today though. It was my goal to have two more ram pump videos for the season and finish out October. Um, last night was 36 degrees, I believe. Um, in two days, on Thursday, we're supposed to get our first 31 degree night. So um, it just it gets more difficult to work out here in the creek 
when it's freezing outside. So I think we may shut down ram pump season a little bit early and um, I have still, I'm gonna say at least 10 video ideas written down for next season. And I'm sure that I will pick up several more as, uh, as the winter time progresses. I get a lot of comments throughout the winter. Um, I guess people are um, sitting inside watching more videos. Um, so anyway, uh, what else can we do walking around? Um, maybe go look at the playhouse real quick. Um, hopefully next week I will be, I need to get my camera back. Don't want to leave that out here. One test that I want to run is um, using all the fill materials that we tried out. Tennis balls, racquetballs, inner tube, um, water bottle, and see if they produce any different results at the top. The playhouse has the first uh, four pieces of siding up and it has done very well. I gotta come back and tighten screws and put some caulking and trim and stuff in there. But um, it has worked out well. I had to work a uh, third shift last night so I did not get to do anything today besides the video you're watching. I was hoping to come out here and just plop the two middle fence posts in and get that wrapped up but it didn't happen. So um, in closing here, well, let's see the inside of the playhouse. Um, so I'm going to have a little Dutch door here. I think that's what it's called. We have the, the split. Um, I'm going to have little sliding windows, uh, one on each side, and then maybe one or two on the back wall so the kids can look out there as well. Um, but anyway, I'm pleased with the results so far. Um, so what I was saying was, <clears throat> um, Ashley and I are pretty conservative with our spending, and so we're never really in debt more than like a couple thousand dollars besides the house. <clears throat> um, and so that being said, um, I've been watching a lot of Dave Ramsey financial videos and um, they've really changed my spending habits in my life. So if you haven't ever checked his YouTube out, definitely do that. Um, some fascinating stories. But um, so that being said, I'm taking the month of October and um, I'm not buying anything but food and gas and paying bills. Um, and so um, we'll be, besides the four-wheeler, which I'm halfway done with, it's kind of an impulse purchase a couple years ago. Um, halfway done with that, we'll be debt-free. Um, so I'll be able to focus on the house and really um, and cut that down. So if you're a younger person, I highly recommend you uh, watch some Dave Ramsey and get a better grasp on the future than I really started off with because I was definitely in the mindset of uh, buy, buy, buy. Um, <laughs> that's not a Backstreet Boys reference. So um, anyway, all that to say, um, I'm really expecting 2020 to be a really big year for us. Um, going into it, um, hopefully debt free besides the house and um, start really tackling that hard. I've got the uh, the new business starting up here pretty quick. Um, finally got all of the, the um, product packaged for the first um, round and um, website's going to launch soon and we'll have to get it on Amazon as well. <clears throat> okay, that's enough talking. I'm sure I could find something to ramble about but um, hope you've enjoyed this video <laughs> and um, hopefully next time I'll be back to my normal self. Bye.